Napster was a music sharing site that was available from 1999 to 2002 in its original form. Um, it was shut down because many musicians and artists felt that people were illegally sharing their songs and they were not receiving royalties for it. So the question is, is it always illegal to download information, songs, pictures from the internet? Um, surprisingly, it's not. Most people think it is, but as an educator, uh, you're able to share and use a lot more things than we have been led to believe. It's important though that students know that there still is plagiarism and just because you find something on the internet doesn't mean you can use it and not give attribution to that those who you uh, received it from. Copying something straight from the internet still isn't a good idea. So when do you have to stop and decide or how do you stop and decide when something is all right for you to download and use? We're going to talk about that right now. There are four things you have to think about when using uh, copyrighted material. The fair use doctrine lists the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount that's been used, and the market impact. It's also important to note that many copyrighted materials borrowed, in fact, from other materials. Much of Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech borrows from things like the Bible and from previous political writers. I often use clips from The Simpsons and other TV shows in my podcast. I use it for educational purposes, and I make sure that it's used in a way that is different from what that which it was originally intended. Make sure that you're not confused by copyright confusion. This sometimes can limit what we use, and it also limits our understanding of fair use. You can use a lot of things that you previously thought you weren't allowed to. For example, everyone loves a good meme. Companies don't have the right or the power to ban users from using pictures to help create their memes. It's important to remember the distinction between plagiarism and copyright infringement. Plagiarism is something that's handled by teachers and schools. It's more of an ethical problem. Copyright infringement is a legal problem handled by courts. Hopefully, I've made a number of good points in my presentation so far. Um, I believe that Leonardo DiCaprio would agree that this has been a really good example of uh, what is and what is not copyright infringement. So remember, as an educator, you can use copyrighted work if you believe it's something that's going to help your students and it's going to help your work. Uh, there's nothing formal or that you have to do to claim fair use. You don't have to ask permission or let the copyright holder know that you're using it. And while you may feel that you're copying something, um, many people believe that copying is part of the creative process. Um, as you see this from Picasso, bad artists copy, good artists steal. Anything you think that you just created has probably been created at some other time. So the code of best practices uh, when it comes to copyright has said that educators are allowed to do things like make copies of articles, shows, uh, use them for educational use, um, create curriculum and scholarship with copyrighted materials in them, and then share with co curriculum materials that have copyrighted materials embedded in them. And as community as a practice, it's important that we work together to understand what we can do with copyright and that we are all on the same page when it comes to copyright. And I want to go back and talk about the Dr. King speech again. Um, his family has owned the copyright to this for many years, and it never made sense to me why something such as a public speech, as something as such an important speech has been copyrighted and been limited to how people can use it outside of its original purpose. Reading about the difficulties that the makers of Eyes on the Prize had with keeping their licenses and their copyrights uh, really made me upset. And the fact that it was estimated they would have to raise $5 million to continue showing this, um, what a travesty, especially for such, such an important product. So remember, as according to the song, 
you can use copyrighted material without permission and without paying a license fee. Sorry I didn't sing it as well as they did in the song. So while remember the power of fair loose use doctrine list, purpose of use, nature of copyrighted work, the amount used in the marketplace, what it really does is prevent people from having private censorship and it allows us to use materials that otherwise we would not be able to use. Thank you for watching my video on Pichacucha and uh, remember the future of copyright is bright.